Chantel Brown Young is a genuine beauty, but as you can see, there's something very unique about her. The 19-year-old has vitiligo, a rare skin condition where patches of skin lose pigment. Unlike Michael Jackson, who also had vitiligo, Chantel has chosen not to take any medication, embracing the condition that has given her perhaps the most distinctive look in the modeling industry. I don't think I understood that I had vitiligo until I was like maybe in middle school. Um, and that's only because that's when, you know, bullying started for me, um, when kids started to get ruder and meaner about, you know, differences, be it if you were a little bit heavier or if you were fair skin or dark skin or if you had vitiligo. So, um, you know, I, I had it from an early age, but it took a while for me to understand that I actually did have something that was um, so profoundly different about me. She was first diagnosed with vitiligo when she was four. As she got older, the skin condition became noticeable. She says she was bullied at school. Kids called her zebra girl. Others called her a cow. Kids called me all types of mean things, cow, zebra. They asked me if they should milk me and all types of horrible, horrible mean things that a kid at that age should never have to hear. I never tried to conceal it myself, but my mom, for like pictures and family photos and that type of stuff, would um, blend it a little bit darker with her own foundation, just because she thought it would make me feel more comfortable. Um, but as I got older, I you know, kind of built the confidence to tell my mom that that's not something that I like. I don't enjoy putting on makeup to cover up my skin. It's not fun, you know, it, it's not something that I see my friends having to do, so I don't feel like I should have to do it either. Instead of living in seclusion and privacy, she's decided to enter the most public arena imaginable, modeling. I'm so proud of her for celebrating her own natural beauty, and I think it makes her a great role model for other women who may not even have vitiligo, but who may feel that they don't look like everyone else. To be an inspiration to so many means, honestly, the world to me, because my career, I would say, kind of started with you know, my fan base. It wasn't anyone who kind of saw me and said, oh yeah, she can do this and let's get her to do this. It was more me doing anything that I could and my fans giving me the encouragement to continue to do what I wanted to do. So when people come to me and they say, you know what, you doing what you love to do inspires me so much to do what I want to do, helps me, you know, encourages me even to do, to continue doing what I want to do. The 19-year-old is about to take the world by storm, appearing on the upcoming season of America's Next Top Model. My birth name is Chantel Brown Young. Okay. So on the show, I go by Chantel Young. They just took off a last name. Um, my alter ego's name is Win Winnie Harlow. So um, I kind of carry her with me everywhere I go. So I just put them together, Chantel Winnie. I believe it was a hope for me to be on the show, but I never really thought it was going to happen. I've looked at um, trying to get on the show many times before, and of course you have to be an American citizen to be on the show. Because I am not an American citizen, I never thought it was ever going to happen, but it did. Okay, here we go, Naomi. Turn a little more profile. Naomi, hold your left hand onto the tree a little. Watching Naomi Campbell frolic in the Caribbean is like watching something too striking to be real. One, two, three, nine. Like a sexy goddess of the sea. This is exclusive videotape of the mega model like you've never seen before. Turn a little more to me and smile there a little bit. Landing the interview with Naomi Campbell was a complete fluke. Of course, she is one of the most incredible models in history, in the history of fashion. So uh, I was at Vogue magazine one day interviewing the great fashion editor, Grace Coddington. And when we wrapped the interview, I'm following Grace back to her office. And I just threw out, hey Grace, I'd love to go on a shoot with you sometime. And she didn't skip a beat and said, well, I'm shooting Naomi Campbell next week uh, you want to come, and I actually froze. You see photographs of models, and they make it look easy. They look gorgeous, wearing beautiful clothes, and in our head, we just imagine that they stand in front of the camera, and the photographer snaps the picture, and that's it. But there's a lot of work that goes into it. What I witnessed those three days is how dedicated she is to her work. We joined Vogue in Jamaica as the supermodel was photographed in these eye-popping bikinis. We have to go have lunch because the hairdresser's having a swim. Now 
That's beautiful, wait. World famous photographer Herb Ritz was part of a superstar team that created a magical layout. It's interesting how everything comes together and everyone collaborates to make the picture happen, which is great. The theme, Naomi all alone on an island, looking sensational. She's got it all. She's like, probably they're all going to kill me, but she's the best model I've ever worked with, ever. <laughs> they're going to kill I you. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi will push it to the limit for just the right shot. And here's something you may not know about her. She can't swim. Help me. You have no idea how excited I was. I was excited. I was nervous. I didn't want to be in the way, but of course, always at the beginning of everything is I've got to get the story for Inside Edition. Watching Naomi work is incredible. The way she handles her body, she knows exactly what to do in front of the camera. It's all in a day's work for the woman who at 25 has been in front of the camera for more than a decade. I didn't think of being a model. I really wanted to be a dancer and that's what I trained for and I guess that's what the opportunity came to me, so I accepted it and I tried it and it worked. And boy, did it ever work. She has incredible fame. And what does she say to autograph seekers? I sometimes say, you don't want it. Oh, you know, it's like they say, you Naomi on the street, and sometimes I say no. Smile, that you look beautiful there. During this shoot, we found Naomi professional and charming, but she has a reputation for being difficult. I think that most women that we, that we admire, Madonna, Janet Jackson, Sharon Stone, Barbara Streisand, whoever, Oprah, I think when a woman stands for her ground and wants to fight for something and do it and be right at it and try and get it 100% right or perfect as much as you can, a woman gets called a b for that. And when a guy does it, it's a hard working guy. You know, I don't care if I'm called a or not. I'm trying to fight for my integrity and to do things right and to do it with my belief and that's what's important to me. When people talk about her and talk about her reputation, I'm always happy to be able to say that I was there. I watched her work and I watched that she wasn't difficult, that she was cooperative. A lot of what you hear I just didn't see and I was there for three days. But I had to ask her about her reputation. There was no way that I could be with Naomi Campbell and not ask her particularly at that time, about her reputation. And what she said to me is really important, and that is, is that the playing field is not level for men and women. And so she was way ahead of a lot of the things that we talk about now. Globetrotter is a term this beauty is all too familiar with, so she cherishes her downtime. I like to stay home, watch videos, or go to movies, have dinner. Bikinis were made for a body like this, but you can't call Naomi a health nut. She eats what she wants. I don't go to the gym, I box. I have a right, a good jab. A good, I have a good jab. Since the shoot we did at Inside Edition, the behind the scenes shoot, things have really progressed in terms of black women uh, in magazines, on magazine covers. Uh, back then, it was rare. She understands uh, her place in fashion. She understands that she's a trailblazer. She understands that there are a lot of young black models behind her who she wants them to have more than she had. So she doesn't mind speaking up. What she cares about is that black models have an equal opportunity, that they have an opportunity to be in shows, to be on covers, to be in layouts, to have cosmetic contracts, to have uh, fashion commercial contracts. That matters to her.